Alright, welcome to another EA Sports UFC 3 video and today is all about the championship fights. How do you preserve your stamina and perform your absolute best over 5 rounds? When I came back to the game this year, the striking had risen to an all time high. So there were some brand new nuances that I needed to learn to perform my absolute best. I can't believe this game still has juice left to go and I've been playing since release date. So speaking of that, I know everyone is waiting on UFC 4 and when is it going to drop? So if I had to take a guess, I would say first quarter, of next year 2021 okay because this will be after the new consoles have dropped and i want you guys to get in descriptions below and let me know do you think it's going to come out before 2021 or after 2021 first quarter let me know what you guys think but coming up in this video right here first up we got all highlights of all ranked championship matches so I'm gonna be showing you guys that, followed by a feature fight of the evening, which I know you guys will enjoy. And let's talk about these nuances that I learned from pro players and guys in the top 100. So without further ado, let's get right into the fight. All right, this is what you wanna do right here. This is what I call running the table. Winning 10 matches in a row, preferably all championship matches, so like I said, we're going to check some highlights out. All ranked championship matches. Check this out. First championship match utilizing the double jabs to break the block of my opponent to land a huge left hand that striking power 92 by Jacare Souza. All championship matches. So everything here is playing at the highest level. Jacare also has 92 striking speed which allows me to beat my opponent to the punch. Very tough fights. What you see in all five rounders. Here it is. Landing a huge right hand in the submission offense of Jacare is a 99. It gets no better in the game. That's why I like using him. And also his submission defense is also a 99. Another championship match here. My opponent ends up ducking right into an uppercut and I get to retain my title Max Holloway is also a beast flexing on him it's a very tough match right there alright utilizing some of those takedown feints and boom this was one of the tougher matches that I had retaining the title fighting a very, very dangerous opponent there using GSP. And here it is, return of the boxer special to double uppercut. We hadn't forgot pulling the fast trigger to retain another title. My opponent was pressing me against the cage. When I saw the opportunity, I took it. Boom! Landed a huge right hand at 92 striking power, Jacare Souza putting them to sleep all right you lose some but then i got bruce lee rob here in the matches to lead me back to the championship matches and then he said hey you caught me using a b fighter so then bruce lee rob ends up getting conor mcgregor and i got nick diaz and i'm like you know it's coming bruce you know it's coming Let's take a picture. Take a thumbnail. Boom. Huge right hand. Bruce Lee Rob going to sleep, buddy. Very tough opponent right here. Coming up. Zabit. I'm just going to let this one play out. Just look how fluid those hands are. A Max Holloway changing levels. Going high, going low. Doing whatever I need to do take out a very strong Terra Turner which brings us to our feature fight of the evening I'm fighting a guy that's my equal inside of the octagon here three wins three losses and we not touching gloves already 
playing footsies. And this is my favorite combo. Giving it up. Lead. Left leg kick. Followed by a straight. Into a jab. Hook. We'll talk about it more. Now. You got to respect that striking speed and that striking power. 93 of Israel Adesanya. Especially against a strong opponent right here. Now I'm going to be talking about some advanced strategies throughout this. And I want you guys to get in the comments below and let me know what you think of it. Alright. I wanted to see how my opponent was going to deal with the double jabs. And see if he knew how to move his head. And look, he tried to return it to me. And that's the favorite thing I like about this game. Being able to use footwork and head movement. And this is one thing. Whenever your opponent has those recovery frames, you hit him with a straight. Use that time and opportunity to get an attack off. Whether that is from the straight leg kick or even they're recovering from a high kick. You got grapple advantage, advantage in that situation. You could be successful. Now... I wanted to wear out my opponent on the ground since Jacare is so good on the ground, end up getting reversed. And then my opponent gets to the adv advantageous position and decides to get up. So that tells me a lot. He doesn't want to be on the ground. All right. I like Jacare because he has a 90 striking stamina and a 91 grapple stamina. So this guy's going to be good for those five round fights. And that's why I like to use him in the championship fights. Now, my opponent here is pressing me against the cage. So you want to use your footwork. You want to use that head movement all at the same time to stay safe. And he has those Muay Thai combinations, those kickbox combinations. And since he's scared of that takedown, anytime that you see him doing a takedown de deny animation, he's going to be open for strikes. So that's another thing. Whenever you do those takedown feints, it'll drop the hands of your opponent. Shout out to some of the ESFL guys for giving me some of those tips. So there it is again. Hit him with that straight. And on those recovery frames, that's when I like to go down low. Now, one thing about Jacare, his chin strength is only 88. So you got to watch out. But Israel Adesanya, his body strength is not that high. So... That's one thing that we're playing chess match against here. I have a soft chin. He has a soft body. So let's see what happens. Coming up on the end of the first round here. We see the table is set. And what you want to do, you always want to evade these high level strikes. A level three strike, level two strikes, they cost more stamina. And that's what we're going to be talking about later. Um, maybe that's something that we can change. All right, so. Israel Adesanya, like I say, level five and level four combinations, Muay Thai and kickboxing. And look at there. He started utilizing them. But for me, I'm noticing a pattern and you always want to check that. Advancing later on into the fight. Now I'm pressing and my opponent is moving. I'm evading. And this is what you like right here. And, and when I notice my opponent using side steps, that's when I start using those leg kicks and it's a level two. So the stamina cost for me is going to be minus five if I miss. So you cannot miss high level strikes because they will hurt you. But if you land them, then they're going to do good. And so I hurt his leg and see now this is the whole thing of this video, this switch stands. Now, he switched stance because his front lead leg was hurt. But what that did was it exposed my stomach to his power back leg. And he's trying to protect his back leg from getting hit. Because all it took was a couple. Now, I'm cognizant of Israel Adesanya using that power leg to my stomach. You see that? And I'm able to, to capture that. Now, this is the best thing in the game. If you can get a timing shot where you evade a shot and land a strike to the body at the same time, your opponent is going to be hurt. And I know that. So we're still working that body. And look at that head movement by Israel Adesanya. And he is moving real nice. And this is where the fun of the game is. You got two opponents that know exactly what they're doing. Both of us are able to evade strikes. And when I see him sidestep and that's when i want to go 
to the legs and throw those round strikes. And, that, and that's the perfect combination right there. My favorite combination that I talked about in the beginning of the match. So, boom, throwing that heat. At the end of the round, got a rock, probably won the round right there. So I think I'm up to zip, but I got a strong opponent and look at there, giving him just a lot to think about whenever you do those takedown feints. And I'm also looking for any recovery frames where I can initiate a strike. Like right there, I could have initiated a strike or a takedown because I had grapple advantage. All right, now I've never seen this. Look at this right here. It's a faint leg kick right into a body kick and those things were hurting look at that that i had no answer to that please get in the comments below if you guys know how to do that and if you utilize that and those are those muay thai combinations that israel adesanya has that you got to be careful for because those things are really starting to wear and tear on my body so look i'm still going to the takedown feints and now let's dance this is going to be the subject matter of this video now when i switch i switch because and you see every time i switch he's switching so what i'm doing is i'm trying to expose my back at the expense of an 80 switch stance so i can expose my back to his power leg okay and that's because i want to take less damage to my body health if he lands that power shot on my back instead of my stomach and then you see what he's doing. Now he's throwing the front leg and then he switches stances and I switch right back. So we're dancing. But look at that. He's throwing heat to my head. So you see, this is why this game is so nice because it's a chess match going on. It's all kind of games within the game. So I'm switching not only to protect like legs, but you also can switch your stance to protect your body from that back power leg. And that's exactly what I'm doing because Jacare is tired right now and it's harder to catch those leg kicks so to protect help protect myself i'm gonna turn my back to his back power leg and he's trying to do the opposite and now that was a bait right there i knew as soon as i exposed my stomach to his power side he was gonna throw that leg kick and i wanted to get a takedown to try to win that round so now the table is set all of the games are are laid out on the table our cards are laid out on the table so now it's about who's going to execute so i look at there now this is interesting because he was pre-denying a spear takedown usually a spear takedown is an automatic takedown but not in this case my opponent has great takedown defense man and so we had to get right back up to the feet all right so look at there throwing more heat to my opponent Jacare with that 92 striking power I'm still saying hey that takedown threat is there I can't miss those strikes right now because this is the championship rounds and we're coming down to the end and my body is hurt bad and he's pressing me against the cage constantly attacking my body I'm hurt see anybody's and I'm feeling, look at him going to my body and we're th still throwing heat. It's anybody's match at this point. Last 36 seconds. Opponent is pushing me against the cage and I just feel it. It's time for that boxer special throwing that heat. Put him on a thumbnail. Go to sleep. Put a blanket on him. My opponent is asleep just like that. With the double uppercuts. The boxer special. You just had to fill it out in that moment. Boom. Boom. That was all she wrote. It's really dangerous to try to chase an opponent when you're hurt. Much respect to my opponent. Great match. Looking forward to more in the future. All right, now I'm going to start displaying the top three comments of my previous UFC 3 video, which in this case was advanced boxing tips to beat top ranked fighters. First comment. 21 bravo pump all skill and technique no cheese no spam that's how i like to see the game played thank you for that comment bro i definitely keep trying to bring in content um 
of that caliber. Nick Roo. Bro, you need to see a Marshall Mindwood fight you on YouTube. Everybody knows I'm down to do that any day. Let's go. Gordon Thompson, you need to be a commentator, bro. I can see you doing one of those UFC breakdowns they do on ESPN. I appreciate that. Hey, if anybody knows how I can get in that lane, let me know. I definitely would love to do that. All right. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Please help your boy out and drop a like and please share the video. I promise to be bringing you guys more content in the future. Peace.